Okay, this is the situation at the end of the third turn and the fifth day at Arnhem and Nijmegen. Situation in the north is very fluid. Uh, the Germans did break through here and come down this road. Luckily, the Allies have just managed to throw a perimeter together out of bits and pieces. And we've got the uh, Polish paradrop units coming in here along the, the the back of the supply drop zone. We've also got some air units who will come to come in as well into the game. Um, so it's a bit of a crisis, but it looks like we've handled it. Now, situation with the yellow parachute regiment is they're pretty much pinned down there. Um, there's no real way of getting away during the day. They're going to have to wait night time to do that and then they're probably going to be cut off from the rest of the perimeter by then. As you can see, there are loads of German units piling in now from uh, the west, north of the Rhine. Also, uh, in the east, north of the Rhine, there's a very strong... 9th SS Panzer Regiment unit that's arrived here uh, and they're also the encirclement of the Arnhem position is increasing all the time um, so the pressure's building up on Arnhem as well as the Arnhem perimeter which is probably going to form up somewhere around parts of Oosterbeck and around the supply zone if we can it's very difficult to hold terrain where you haven't got anything like um, urban stuff. Well, forest isn't too bad, but open terrain is suicidal, really. Even in improved positions, you're going to get carved up badly if, if someone draws a formation chit against you. Uh, we go south, so we've obviously rescheduled the, uh, the drop for the Polish parachutes and move them to a different drop zone because they were going to drop here uh, which I don't think would have achieved anything and they were needed in the perimeter to be quite honest to the north we've got um, strategic reserve for the 10th Panzer just sitting around at Elst thinking what, what, when we needed to intervene um, the situation in Nijmegen is the pressure is building up severely now on the uh, garrison at Nijmegen. We've got 30 core units, there's all uh, 30 cores artillery is here. Uh, that'll be uh, trying to get in radio contact with the uh, guards armoured soon. We've got um, guards armoured uh, independent units move, moving up the road here. You've got German units which have come from Grosbeck and uh, are now looking like attacking the club route from the east. We've got um, large concentrations of German artillery to the south there. They're, they're trying to uh, take Moot Bridge but they've not really succeeded. And uh, the garrison here, you've got the... Uh, Welsh Guard arrived and they're going to take over the garrison duty for Moot Bridge, releasing the parachutists. We've also got some more parachutist units here which can help defend the club route. Um, if you go over here, you've got 82nd heavy units which are on the club route, and then you've got the 43rd infantry which is backed up for miles. Uh, near Grave. So all in all, the Allies are still in with a chance and it looks like we've uh, avoided a catastrophe in the north, but the pressure in the north is getting really severe.